It's Ron Vesky and we in the Vettatini, the roof off like Houdini. Hey, we getting green like zucchini. I always say this. I, I, sometimes I think the haters want to beat me, baby. This is Vet Talk episode three, and we riding around with OVO. Y'all already know we go to school. Y'all already know we go to school. This is Vet Talk episode three. In episode three, we will be talking about how I made my first ten thousand dollars. Guess how old I was, baby? First time, guess how old I was? That. Guess how old I was? Twenty one savage. I was twenty one savage when I made my, when I made my first ten k. Get the clapping like ABA Bay. I was 21, I was in Job Corps, and I started off with $400. We're holler, we popping our collar. Y'all know we popping our collar, baby. So, this back in the day. We're gonna start getting right into the story. This back in the day, boom. I go to Job Corps, I learn how to weld. I'm in there to learn how to weld, right? So, in Job Corps, sometimes you come home. My ex girlfriend at the time, she used to send me, send home for me. She wanted me to come home and all that stuff, right? So, boom, I came home. It was my birthday. It was my go, 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 Charlotte. It was my birthday. I ain't do no party. I went into all that party and all that stuff, right? So boom, I come home. When I go back to campus, I come back with four hundred dollars, right? I got it for my birthday. I think my mom and my dad each gave me two hundred or something like that, you know. So I was at nineteen at this time. Uh, yeah, nineteen. No, 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 no. No, I just had turned twenty. Hold on, was I? Yeah, I went to. Yeah, I just had turned twenty, right? So I come back, right? All the time. Just so you guys know, this whole grinding and hustling stuff, I've been doing it for a long time. It's just in my blood to do this. My pops is a bona fide hustler. It's like, it's well known everywhere around everywhere around in this area. So, so boom, I come back. So this whole little time, I've been selling little squares. I've been cutting hair, um, selling squares, selling switcher sweets. Cause a lot of people on campus, a lot of dudes who's really getting money on campus, they were selling weed. So I gotta have, whatever. Look, I've always been one to go outside of the box and do the opposite of what everybody else doing. So if you selling weed, I feel like I can make just as much money doing the legal way. You sell a weed, guess what I got? Guess what they need to smoke the weed? <laughs> I got these squishers, baby. And after they get high off that weed, guess what they want to do? They want to smoke some square. But, boom. So the cap is dry, right? Cap is dry. Don't nobody got no money. Don't nobody got no weed, right? So, I made a proposition out, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I made out a proposition. Whoever needs to borrow some money, I need double my money back. This guy, shout out to my guy, I ain't gonna tell you. My guy, if he watching this video, he know. He know how we was in there getting busy. That's my guy to this day. We still, uh, I don't talk to him that much, but you still my guy. And if you are, if you my guy, you gonna be my guy forever. Boom, he comes to the room like, yeah, folks. He's from Chicago, too. We, mind you, we in, we in Edinburgh, Indiana at this time. He's he from Chicago, like, yeah, folks, I need you, folks. I'm like, all right, brother, look. I'm about to give you this 300. When I give you the 300, I need my 600 back ASAP. I don't need you to go make some moves. I don't need to do none of that. Right when you get my money, I need my money. So boom, made that investment. Now, again, don't forget, on the side, I'm selling switches and the squares. So all the people who sell weed, are all, all the people who get money, they just kind of hung around with each other. So if y'all got the weed, I got the switches. I'm the only person on campus who really have a switch. Everybody having them here and there, but I'm having them joints. I'm getting it back, go back to that. Remember, I'm getting the switches. I'm gonna tell you about that a little bit later. So boom, right? Two days later, he come back with 600. <laughs> We in the game, coach. So we come at 600, put my money in the bank. I'm still boom. My, I'm, he's swelling his joint. I'm selling my switch. Boom, boom, boom. I'm getting off, getting off. We're going. So I'm steady. So then, right, he gets to shooting D's. Shooting dice, man. <laughs> he got to shoot them D's. Somebody hit him on the D's. Somebody, uh, 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 hit him on the D's, right? So boom. He come back again. Hey, your credit good with me, brother. You need another 300. Here you go. So now, at this time, I'm like at $700, $800 right there, around there. Because I got a little, I'm busting my little moves too, my squares and my swishers. So boom, he come back again with the 600. So I'm moving the groove at this time. Again, mind you, I'm moving the groove. So off him, I just got $1,200 off him. The third time, he told me, yeah, I'm going to go get a pound. Look, look, brother. Mind you, the statue limitations, just so y'all know. Look, brother, you cannot bring no pound in here. There's no way possible. Because when you come in the door, they already got to search you. They already got to search you, brother. They got to search you. There is no way possible you're going to be able to bring a whole pound in here. There's no way. So, look. He didn't do it. He did it. He got like, I'm, yeah, I'm going to lead a uh, pound in Indianapolis. No, because Indianapolis, she was out to everybody from that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to lead a pound in Nap. I'm like, brother, why would you leave your pound in Nap so they can smoke it? You don't even live here. You're going to be here and they're going to be out there with your pound. No, absolutely not. So, boom, he ended up doing his thing. He ended up getting the tour with the dude because the dude hit him on the D's. And then when you shoot him D's, you're supposed to shoot until the money gone. But they ain't do that. Dude ran out. It's all a whole bunch of that. That don't even matter. Boom. So, I, again, I'm still getting busy. So now, I'm in there. I'm still cutting hair for the five, for the fin ski. That's what haircuts are $5, you know. Cutting for the fin. I'm in there doing that. 
I'm in there selling Twitch and Tweets. I got the plug with the RA. The RA bringing me the Twitch and Tweets. Oh, I'm, I'm selling Burger King too. The, the, the RA in there bringing, plugging me with the Twitch and Tweets, plugging me with the squares if I need that. Jeez, that was a dip. Plugging me with the squares if I need that. I'm giving him money. He hooked me up, right? I'm selling the, I'm selling the, I used to get the two double cheeseburgers and a fry for like, how many dollars was that? I don't remember. It was a plug. It was a plug price from uh, Burger King. It's payday. People get paid. They want to spend that money. They got, I got that birthday for you. <clears throat> Doing that too, right? So boom, time going on, time going on. I'm still getting money. I'm still selling the Switch Suites. Now, I'm going to tell you what I was doing. Huge shout out to my, I should go over there, but it's kind of out the way of where we're going. I used to go to Walk Hickin Foods for those of you who are in the area, right? Go to Walk Hickin Foods, my guy used to hook me up, brother. He used to hook me up. he get me right with the Switch Suites. Now, mind you, in there, you're not supposed to have Switch Suites. You can't have Switch Suites, you can't have Black and Mild. People can smoke squares and they can, that's it. They did let this one Jewish dude smoke pipes though. I don't know, I was a little, I was a little bothered about that because I was smoking mild, black and mild at the time. And I'm like, why well, I can't smoke mild, but he can smoke pipes. But it was his religion or something. So boom, we are here. Look, I come home again. My ex, I don't know if it was a break, because you know, during breaks we used to come home, right? I come home, I load up. I already know what time, I'm about to, I'm about to go on here and go crazy, right? I load up at the Walking Foods. I go in there, my, my guy Muhammad, he been, he been owning that store for so long. My mom used to go there back in the day when they was little kids. Muhammad hooked me up, right? He give me, he give me, uh, the switch of suits and all that stuff. I got them in the suitcase. So, yo, know, for those of you who ever travel, you know you got these big suitcases, right? In the suitcase, it had a zipper. So it's a zipper where you can't see stuff. Cause I used to have big clothes. You know I've been French for a long time. The zipper where you can't see. I used to zip that up. I used to boom, unzip it, put the switch, put the switch streets in there, boom. Pack them joints in there, boom. I'm from a pack them joints. Put the black t-shirt over it, tape it so it won't move around. And then when I put all my clothes on top of it, they ain't even gonna know what's in there cause they're not gonna, they're not gonna check everything. Cause it's too much stuff. I'm bringing the shoes and I'm switching my stuff out. So they ain't gonna take everything. So boom, I'm going, I'm going to crazy. I got chocolate, strawberry, great. I got whatever, regular, whatever you want, I got it. The Rellos, the cigarellos. I'm in there going crazy, right? Boom, I'm doing that. So this time now, now I'm, it's time for me to go on to advanced training because I did the world of stuff. Now I'm gonna go learn how to paint cars. So there's a lot of backstory that y'all don't know about me. I know how to paint cars and I went to uh, both job courses for welding and paint cars, right? So. Time to go to the next campus. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm keeping G real with you, cuz. I, I was thinking about not going to the next campus. Cause my girl was at the crib. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to go to the campus. But then I'm thinking, this is the only time I got to do this, right? So I gotta make this count. I gotta go crazy. So boom. I go to, I go to the next campus. I gotta fill it out for a little bit. I gotta fill it out. And I know this is my last time I'm gonna do this, so I gotta go in here and go nuts. When I left the first campus, I had 2600, right? So I get, I think I came in, I went there in November. Where'd I go there? Said November or October. It was one of them. Get there, right? So now when I get there, it's a new place. So you gotta kind of fill it out a little bit. I'm filling it out, I'm filling it out, you know. I'm seeing who, who, what, what, where is where. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that when you're coming in the game, right? So I boom, I get there, right? I'm chilling, you know. I see people selling squares and stuff and all that stuff. They selling squares for the 50 cent. Squares was always 50 cent back then. Squares for one square, 50 cent. They sell them for 50 cents. So I'm like, I'm gonna go to the smoke shop. The most smoke shop is like a mile away. You walk down there, you could call campus at this campus. Walk down there, go to the smoke shop, go in there, right? So I'm like, if they sell them for 50 cents, I'm gonna try to finesse and get it for the 20, sell them for the 25, but I had to do the roll up. So boom, I got the little machine. Like you gotta put the uh, tobacco on there, you gotta press it down. Swear to God, right hand, I'm in that joint. I, I go back to the campus, I ain't, I'm in there for a whole Saturday, for eight hours straight, packing them joints. Packing them joints, so I can sell them for the 25. So you can get four for a dollar, right? So boom, time going like maybe a week or two. I'm asking people, you know, how y'all liking these uh, roll ups and all that stuff. They say they cool, but they ain't, they ain't, they ain't them Newports. They ain't them Newports. If you smoke squares, you know what I'm talking about. They ain't them Newports. So I'm like, okay, bet. But this is what happened, right? Now, mind you, in the meantime, in between time, while I'm at the campus, we get used to get a check uh, every two weeks for like $47. That was the max you could get. It's going from 23 to 47. We had to check $47. I'm letting them joints roll over. I'm letting them roll over so many times. The dude at the bank got to call me like, hey, you got to come and put these checks in the bank. You can't just keep on letting them roll over, roll over. I'm letting them roll over because I'm in there getting money. And I'm working in the cafeteria. And I'm cutting hair. And I'm selling squares. Boom, right? Oh, before, backtrack a little bit. At my other campus, I'm selling jewelry. I'm selling some, my ex-girlfriend sent me some uh, showed me some jewelry. I'm selling that. I'm selling my jewelry. Everybody, everybody in there icy. I got pictures of this. I, matter of fact, I got pictures. I, look, I'm going to take you back. So, the woman I was selling the jewelry and all this stuff, this was in Edinburgh, Indiana, right? The second campus was in uh, Clearfield, Utah. 
So, I'm going to show y'all when I, when I was uh, selling the jewelry and all my guys and all that stuff. And I had everybody in that joint icy. So icy entertainment. How can I explain it? So I'm in that joint getting everybody icy. Look the picture right here. Wow. It was a little prom. That was our first day of prom. Uh, getting everybody icy in that joint, right? So I'm selling jewelry and doing all that. So back to the new campus, right? We're in the new campus. I'm filling everything out. So boom. Now I hit the smoke shop, right? I'm like, I'm going to go get a carton of Newport 100s in the box. I'm going to get them Newports, right? I go to I go to the smoke shop. Again, it's a mile away. I bought a carton, right? So I'm like, now I gotta step my game up. You want cigarettes on credit? Cause if you get it on credit, then you gotta pay me one dollar. So they just cost fifty cents, but if you want it for credit, from when pay they come, it costs a dollar. So now I'm like, it's like two hundred people at this at this campus. So I'm like, I can't be walking around chasing everybody down for no one dollar. If you want credit, you gotta get the five for five. Five cigarettes for five dollars. That's the only way you get credit. You can get five or more. You can't get one. You can't get two. You gotta get five or more. So right, boom. I'm in that joint. I got the card. One day it was gone. One day. One day that joint was gone. Newport 100 is the menthol one, the green ones. One day that joint was gone. I'm like, I gotta go back to the store. So now I got to go back to the store. So now I'm in that joint getting busy. Again, I'm still cutting here. I've still got the, I'm still got the job and all that stuff in there. Working in the cafeteria and all that. Go back again. It keep on happening and happen. So now I'm like, okay, boom. Now it's time for me to up my game again. So instead of getting one, now I gotta get three. I'm gonna get two. Look, come on, man, look. I'm going to get two Newport 100, the menthols, and I'm going to get the Newport Reds for the people who like the, for the people who don't like the menthols. So I got the whole setup, right? I'm in this joint going crazy. Now, this, mind you, I went crazy like this from February to November. I left the job court in November. I'm in that joint going nuts. That's how I made my first $10,000. Letting them checks roll over. I was in there hustling. I was in there getting money. I had, I was, I was a middleman and stuff. Oh, cause again, like I told you guys before, I don't sell no weed, I don't sell no drugs, I don't do none of that. You want some weed? Want some of my roommates or whoever, you want some weed? Oh, my guy got the weed. My guy got the weed, I'm a middleman. You, I'm gonna give you the money, I'm gonna pay for the weed for you, and then when the payday comes, you gonna pay me. So if you want a little sack, it's gonna pop $20. So I'm gonna get it for him for 10, and he gonna give it to you, and then when payday comes, you gonna give him that dub. Then I had the liquor plug, my shoes out of my guy at the liquor plug, he sneak liquor on campus, he had the Skulls Vodka, I, uh, the joint's like 350, He's giving to me for seven dollars. I'm selling them for fifteen. I'm in that joint, going crazy. I'm stacking my money. I'm not spending. Some people going, they going to, uh, they buying pieces. You know, you can have order pieces. Oh, 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 I'm forgetting key stuff, right? I was get, I was in the smoke shop so much, I didn't even have to go to the smoke shop no more. The dude at the smoke shop who owned, he was bringing it to me. He bringing it to me. I call him. Hey, yeah, I need this. I need some stuff. He's to drive it to me. I ain't got to go there no more. He's to drive that joint to me. I'm not. I got. I'm talking. I'm walking around with two or three thousand at a time. Mind you, we on campus. I got. My joint in plastic bags, knotted up. I know in the Ziploc bags, knotted. I'm talking about knotted up. I was in that joint going crazy. That is how I made my first $10,000. Just hustling, baby. My first $10,000, I was going crazy. I was 21 Savage. If you wanted, you can have it. It's a lot a lot of stuff that I can tell you guys about the different ways I was making money. I was selling uh, the, 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 um, the knockoff Jordans and the knockoff. I, had, I, did, I did it at all, baby. I didn't did it all. Whatever I gotta do the ball, baby. So some people may ask, what did I do when I got that 10K? Fade away like, <laughs> fade away like Jordan, baby. So when I got home, I had to start getting busy. I had to get me a car first off. I had to go get cars from the auction. Me and my pop started flipping cars. We started doing that. Then I stopped doing that. I also had a job. I had we had to get an apartment. Um, and you know I had to, some expenses and stuff I had to pay for, you know, when you first come back in, into society. It wasn't, it wasn't like jail or nothing. When you first come back into society, you know, you got to pay for these expenses stuff. And I got to get my life together, get, get everything situated. Then I had spent some of that, got all that. Then I had about 5000 left, and I uh, ran it back up again. I've been running back up ever since, baby. Pretty much, that's what happened. You know, I had to invest some money and do some of this stuff. And the thing is, guys, what you don't know is I didn't start really investing. I mean, I, I, could, I guess you could call it a miniature investment. I didn't really start, you know, going crazy with the real estate and investing and all that stuff until, like, I was, I bought my first prison property at 26. You know, before I had to, I had to learn what it, the difference between an asset and a liability was. Um, I had bought the old school. I had the sixes on there. I had the interior done. I had stupid slim. I had, I had all of it. I was getting, and I was, I was 23 at that time. I'm talking about my joint was nasty. I'm talking about it was nasty, the nastiest old school around here at the time. And everybody who's watching this, they know. So, um, I had did that, and I had to learn. You know, I, I uh, listened to the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, and that's when I, that's changed everything for me. That's when I learned the difference between an asset and a liability. And if I go back in time, I, I probably wouldn't have never bought that old school. I would have used my money to invest it instead of spending it 
But honestly, that's something I always wanted. I always said when I came back home, I was getting the old school and all that stuff. So I had to do a you know one time for the one time. But um, if I knew then what I knew now, it was a lot of stuff I would have did different. A lot of stuff. But hey, you live, learn, and earn. And uh, we here at the store. We about to get busy. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. We are already chilling. We doing a vet talk. We might let that. We ain't gonna let that thing spark. We do got to shoot. We got hey, comment below and let me know. Oh, two things, right? Two important things, right? First thing, let me drink some water because I'm a little parched from all that talking. Let me wipe that water off. So, two things. The first thing is we do have the shooting range video. We didn't drop it yet because we didn't get enough uh, people saying that they want to see it. We do got a shooting range video when I shot all my guns. The, I shot OVO. I saw Draco. I mean OVO. I saw I shot Adonis. I shot I shot all my guns. AR-15s, nines, 380s everything the whole setup so if you want to see that let us know also what do you guys think about this now it's about to be fall soon in in this area right so then after fall it's gonna start snowing so the vet talk videos we only can do it for so long because we're in the midwest my question to you guys is would you like me and my cousin to do a podcast comment below and let me know i already kind of got the name for it i was going to, with the name for it we thinking about calling it but comment below and let me know if you guys would like us to do a podcast and we'll make a separate channel for that. And then we can start making the podcast, drop the podcast like maybe once a week or however we do it. Um, but comment below and let me know because in the wintertime, I'm not really going to be able to do the vet talks. I mean, I could. I just had to sit in the garage. And I kind of don't. I think it would be boring. Just comment below and let me know, baby. But either way, go. We're about to go in here and scope. So, guys, that's how I made my first $10,000. Comment below and let me know if you guys like these story times, stuff like that. Because I have a lot of other different stuff that I did. That 10,000 when I was selling the clothes, when I was, I just got a lot of different stuff and a lot of different hustles I've done over uh, the years of my life. I've been out here getting busy, baby. I've been getting busy for a long, I've been on the grass at any time for a long time, baby. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to subscribe, smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and do not skip those ass, and lock in tomorrow, because y'all know what we're doing, baby. If you don't know, we're getting back to this bag. Why are we getting back to the bag? The 2022 is still bag season. We're going to keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's Ron Vesky, and we in the Venetini. The roof off like Houdini. <laughs>